Hey, greetings everyone. My name is Sagar Kinja and thank you so much for joining our today's session. Today we have uh, our awesome guest speaker, Shashank Agarwal. Shashank is an uh, analytics champion. He's six times Salesforce full certified as well as he's currently working as a consultant in Deloitte. Uh, thank you so much, Shashank, for uh, uh, taking today's session and this session is the episode two for our an analytics series which we are running um, and it is being taken care by two awesome speakers Shashank as well as uh, Abhinav and uh, let's get started with it hey uh, let, let's go to the next slide okay. Shashank over to you yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, happy Sunday. Uh, thank you, uh, Sagar, uh, for giving me this, this opportunity to uh, enhance uh, knowledge on uh, data side of the uh, Einstein analytics. Uh, so shall we start with the session? Yeah, Shashank, just give me a second. So guys, as we all are very, very much aware about uh, the New Delhi developer, group and the initiative run by us impact Salesforce Saturday. This is one of the initiative, which, um, as well as this session is coming under this, um, uh, impact Salesforce, uh, Saturday initiative umbrella, where, uh, we organize events every Saturdays as well as on the, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. As well as on the Sundays and, uh, covering various skill set of Salesforce domain and sharing the knowledge from the, the awesome speakers, awesome, uh, uh, you know, experts from the community to the community and by this uh, platform, which is again by the community. Uh, you can find all the our uh, past uh, session recordings, the presentations in the given link, and we'll be posting it across on the chat as well. And the upcoming sessions are also aligned in the link, which is mentioned. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so Talent Central is another uh, awesome uh, initiative which we started in 2020. Uh, Talent Central is a very unique platform where uh, uh, freshers can join in. Uh, they can register themselves uh, and uh, give their details, their initial details, and they can give their job preferences as well. Uh, so someone who's actually looking for a job in Salesforce ecosystem uh, from a fresher can uh, uh, from a fresher level can actually join into the talent central register and we have over uh, uh, 900 students currently register in our portal and over dozens of HR um, currently um, processing their candidature and as well as we have success stories already coming out and there are success stories which will be coming out later um, this year so it's it's really going amazing the way we have received uh, uh, applause on our this initiative is a truly uh, truly amazing and we we would like everyone whomsoever uh, guys you you are connected with us in this session as well as through recording please do connect and support us on the talent central yeah let's go to the next one okay mentorship central guys this is one of the oldest of the initiative and uh, through Mentorship Central, you can actually register yourself as a mentor as or as a mentee. And uh, uh, as a mentor, you will get requests from the mentees. Uh, you can approve, you can reject, and mentees, uh, someone who's actually looking for a mentor in the Salesforce ecosystem can actually go and register as, as a mentee, and they can actually choose whom um, they want their mentor to be. So there will be, you know, a, lot many mentors which are available and uh, there have been uh, dozens of uh, uh, success stories coming out of the mentorship central it's an amazing platform where you can actually choose whom your mentor or your mentee can be um, so I, I would urge you guys if you need any help any any ecosystem and you want one-on-one -on -one help right you please go ahead and register yourself as a mentor or a mentee yeah let's get let's get going shashank Thank you. Well, thanks, Shashank. That's all from my end. I think that <laughs> now I give the stage to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Sagar. Uh, hi, team. Uh, so la in the last session, we learned about the uh, four basic pillars of uh, Einstein analytics. So one of those pillars was uh, data, data and data sets. Uh, so 
yeah. as we know that uh, with the gro- fast growing fast pace world we are getting lots of data from various sources as we all know that data is called as new oil and uh, to uh, you by using the various sets of data we actually increase our business uh, business skill sets and uh, trendings but uh, since uh, we are getting data from various sources uh, from numerous sources so, so uh, th- these are the basic examples wherein uh, we generally know from where data are coming that is web data e-commerce data purchases and retail store credit card social networks medical practices and many more one uh, one uh, the level from which uh, the data we are getting is that in a there is a german company who is uh, who has embedded some sensors in their cows in the cattle and it is uh, generating about 200 mb of data uh, per year and this data is further used to analyze their health about their productivity and all these things so uh, we cannot even imagine from what all sets, uh, source we are getting data but uh, yes we are getting getting data from each and every part of the world and uh, ecosystem so but uh, we cannot use the data that we get uh, directly from any anywhere so we to use the data uh we need to do some processing on the data so that we can get the meaningful insights from that data that's where the importance of data preparations come come in so uh what da- data preparation ag- uh, exactly means that uh, we get a lot of data from everywhere and uh, we cannot directly use it so there might be some outliers over there there so might be some empty values which needs to be populated and what it helps is that uh, it gets the data ready for analytics uh, and it improves the accuracy and quality of the predictions or the visualization that we are doing data preparation me- me- methods are uh, so if we have gone through the basic uh, data mining then cleansing of data is uh, first first of all we are, we are doing the cleansing of data we are removing the outliers from the data some uh, some uh, filling out the uh, null values with the some default data then trans uh, filtering out the data from uh, the rec- only required data what we need and then we use that data for the further process ah uh, in the einstein analytics we generally have uh, for a data we divide the data in two major parts generally first is called as dimension and second is called as measure so dimension is such a, such a, a part of data where which which gives us the qualitative as, uh, part of the data such as uh, if it is a, we can group by if it is a category category uh, data for filtering your data uh, the so such columns or such kind of uh, uh, set of data is called as dimension whereas wherein the data we want to do the uh, calculations uh, we called it me- measure such as if we want to have um, uh, total revenue or minimum revenue or average of the revenue uh, then uh, we called it the, as a measure of data so yep so uh, let's go towards the uh, uh, how to prepare data in einstein analytics so uh, first of all i would like to you to know that uh, we have uh, a sometimes we need not to uh, do any data preparation uh, we can use the directly data from our systems also so if we want to use the sales, uh, direct uh, our sales force data from the uh, some from sales uh, from the sfdc org then we can use it uh, let me go to a screen and show it to you how we can use it it is called as sales force direct and whenever we go to the any uh, screen we just need to go to create dashboard just uh, for a sake of uh, easy uh, as we i am creating a blank dashboard now now whenever we click on the create query we can uh, use the salesforce direct over here and we will be able to see all those uh uh Uh, objects of the salesforce that we use and we can click it over here 
and now we can get all the data from here. Uh, so I guess uh, this. Uh, so this org does not have any data for case. Let me get some data from account. Now we have this data. Uh, let me do some groupings over there. Now we can uh, use, uh, okay, we have only one billing city. No, we can use this data directly in our uh, lenses. In our dashboards. That is the one way of using the data. If we don't want to do any filtering of the data or any uh, data cleansing or anything like that. But if we want to do any kind of uh, cleansing on the data or any data preparation before we use, uh, before we uh, go uh, and use it for the visualization purpose, then we have two major ways of uh, uh, using the uh, data uh, cleansing. First is the recipe. Uh, recipe is a user interface tool, uh, which is uh, present. Uh, uh, look, okay, let me go and show you where the this option comes in. Uh, is my screen visible to you? All? Hello. Yes, John, we can see it. Just a second, I guess some technical glitch from my end. Uh, so whenever we are on this, uh, whenever we land on the Einstein, uh, uh, this part, uh, we have a data manager over here. We need to click on this. Now we f will find uh, some uh, a tab over here called as data flows and recipes. And we can create our, uh, we can go to navigate to the recipes and we can create a recipe over here. Now we can uh, check the uh, select the input data and we can get the uh, get the output data from the locals also and from this part also. But uh, recipe is something that is uh, a easier way to. Uh, Okay, recipe is something that uh, uh, you get the data from two or more uh, data sets. You uh, replicate the data sets, you bucket on those fields and prepare some kind of data. Uh, it is not that uh, if we, it is, uh, we cannot do uh, much uh, complex uh, transformations of data using recipe. Uh, but uh, yes, we can do some of the cleanup and we can re-register that data uh, to the uh, uh, to the Einstein analytics from uh, using the data. So generally what we do over here is we get the data from the uh, existing data sets or the Salesforce recipe, uh, existing data sets uh, and the Salesforce. And uh, uh, we do some uh, uh, manipulations over there. Suppose I'll select the data from uh, user or okay, look, D DTC sales. Then I have selected the, I, uh, I'll select all the fields that I need to know. Then the one of the good thing about the, uh, 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 the recipe is that we can preview what, what is going on in our data. We cannot get, do it on the, uh, on the, that part data flow part, and we can filter out the data and we can re-register the data from there. Yes, there is some issue in this org, but yes, you you can see that we can apply some filters over here, and we can. Uh, 
and we can see the live data over here. And then we can again register the data using. Now we can use the joins and appends over here. But uh, uh, to do some more complex, uh, sometimes uh, these data flows will not, uh, the uh, recipes does not uh, gives us all the uh, insights and all the things that we want exactly to have. You cannot uh, calculate some uh, data of uh, data's uh, data. So sometimes we need to cam calculate a few uh, rollups and all these things uh, in, the, in our data set. We cannot do that in the uh, recipe. So for that matter, we use the data flow uh, to, it is just like a ETL tool, extract, transform or load. And we uh, can get the data from various sources, not only just from uh, Salesforce uh, local or existing data sets, but from the external source of sources of data also. And uh, we can use that data set uh, to get the data from, uh, and uh, we can uh, merge to uh, perform various uh, kinds of uh, transformations on that data. And then we can re-register re that data in the Tableau CRM. So let's go in detail with the, uh, so yes, let, let's go and create some data set. Okay, first of all, to get the data uh, from the Salesforce uh, uh, local, we need to enable the data syncs and connections. So whenever we go to the setup, we go, we will go to the analytics, we go to settings and we will select this data sync and connections and we will save. Now, we are on our, uh, this is the uh, data flow designer. Uh, we have created a data flow called as data flow dot demo. And these are the transformations uh, uh, on the data flow. Let's discuss on some of the transformations that we can use to get in the data and filter. So this is the SFDC digest. What uh, this do is that if we want to imp uh, import any data from the Salesforce local, then we can use it. So suppose I am importing account data, I can use. And I need to select the data over here, uh, object over here, Salesforce object. Then I need to select the fields. So suppose I sub select annual revenue, account source, account number, and create. Uh, and if we want to have some filter conditions, we can add it uh, uh, in the normal thing for, as a filter condition that account uh, revenue, account source should not be greater than, okay, account number should be between these to this range or revenue should be less than this. We can also enable the incremental sync. Incremental sync that uh, means that whenever you are syncing the data again uh, at that point of time, uh, you will be able to uh, get only that data that is not present in the sys current system. If it is already imported, then it will not import it again. And in the output fields, you can see that uh, we will be outputting uh, account number, account source, and uh, annual revenue from the account. And we will, uh, once we click on create, we have this uh, import account as a, uh, uh, we have imported the accounts in the data flow. Now, if we see this digest, this is generally used to get the data from the external sources uh, that are not present in the edge mart is something we will use to get the data from the existing data sets. So suppose we have DTC sales, sales uh, data set. 
OTTC opportunity, I guess. Yes. And if we want to use that data set, so suppose sometimes we need to, we have some data in the CSVs and all these things, and we want to, we want to use that data with our existing local data, merge those data and then filter out the data uh, and then uh, get the final data set to work upon. So we can uh, get, uh, upload that data as a uh, data set in the system. Uh, so I, uh, we have already seen how to create a data set if uh, using CSV. Uh, let's do once more. Uh, I can select a file. I have this agency data one. And if I use this, I can select the app also over here. And next here we can, uh, select uh, define that, that if it is a field or uh, dimension type or measure type or date type so this can be dimension or measure okay and uh, we can upload the file so once it is done it will be creating a data set and we can uh, import the data set that data set over here now, since we have got and, go, and third way, source of getting data is SFDC Digest. So let me show you that part also. Let's go back to the data manager. Now, to uh, if whenever we go to the connect part, we can see that we can connect the data from, we can get the data um, from various sources. So when, whenever you cl click on the input connections, you can see uh, that I have these many options to get data from external sources. Now, Snowflake being one of the new connectors that we get, I have a connection created over here using the same Snowflake. If you see, this is my Snowflake connection and I can use that in our, my data source over here. If I use SFDC digest and this is the edge mark, sorry. Uh, so only digest. And we can give the connection name over here. Okay, I am not enabled to sync for that. Yes, but uh, we can use uh, for that. It needs uh, a time to get completely connected, but I can show you that uh, some configurations of it later because uh, we will be uh, having a detailed uh, uh, session on this uh, later someday um, to get the data from external sources. So let's continue with uh, these two data sets as of now. This is the data that we have imported from the external, uh, from the local, and this is the data that we use uh, from the existing data set. This uh, this will be uh, we, for this we will be using the SFDC Digest and for this we will be using the HMART. Now we want to merge these two data. We can do the merge with uh, two met uh, two uh, two two types of merge we can do. One is argument. If we want to, so suppose we have uh, x data over here and we want to and we have a y data over here and we want these two data to get merged on the basis of any external key, then we will use the append. Here we need to display the node name. We need to select the uh, left source. It is just like we are using the join. We need to select the key from the left side. We need to display the, uh, give a relationship name. We need to select the right key also and right source, then right key, then select the fields from the left, uh, right side and uh, we can have the single values uh, or multiple values in a single lookup also. So uh, I guess um, I didn't don't have any uh, data for this uh, external merge. But uh, for the other part, if we want don't want any uh, merge, actual merge, and we just want to uh, join these two data sets uh, without any condition, so we can use this. Now I'll select these two, create. Now 
this these two data sets will be joined now now if we want to do any compute computations so suppose i want to calculate the annual uh, total revenue we i can use compute ex, ex, expression over here for doing that now from where uh, the, we need to select the source we need to use the dtv sales or import account or join we will be using join we will be creating a uh, uh, field inside it we can use the sql expression over here or we can use the uh, I guess there was an option. Yes, there is an option. I'm not sure why it is not coming. We can use the, uh, we can use that uh, uh, e equals part also. Uh, so we can use the JSON format also to, uh, or uh, SOQL also to get the data filtered over here. Okay. And we once we add the field over here, uh, we will be. Uh, creating the join over here. And finally, what uh, we can do is that we can filter the data. Uh, here it is a filter the data. Now we can use that uh, uh, for uh, in our case, whatever, what was the uh, output fields from here? We can check we have coming account type and okay we can use the industry also we need to know what are the values of the industry or so you can easily visualize that uh, which data is coming from which part so this is coming uh, this account number is coming from import account you can see that account source is coming from uh, import account then account name is coming from dtc sales and all these things so we will be what we will do over here is that we will use the account source to filter the data and we will use the only customer accounts so what we will do over here we will change then So this is just a basic uh, uh, flow. We will cover these each of them in detail in our upcoming session. Uh, then we can uh, register the data. Now register the data set means that uh, we are uh, uh, creating a data sets in uh, our Einstein analytics. So suppose this is and we need to use the filter customers as the source we can we need to give a alias for this now we need to give the data set name we can set the sharing uh, sharing uh, security predicates also over here sharing source uh, is something that uh, we will discuss later it is a big thing now once we have done with the data flows we can uh, also see what our data flow contains by downloading this uh, as a json And we can use the same JSON uh, to uh, in, in any other uh, org also to if uh, by uh, funds we need to create all the uh, required data sets and we can use the or connections and uh, instead of creating the flow again, uh, we can just upload this uh, data uh, on this uh, JSON over there using this and we can click on the update data flow 
once we click on the update data flow now it, this if we get, do not get any error this uh, data flow is ready to run we can run the data flow uh, once we have clicked the run on data flow we need to go to the monitor and we can see that how our data is getting processed it will take a couple of minutes to complete the running uh, by the time I can show you that there are few more uh, default uh, data flows also. These are some complex data flows wherein we are doing uh, argu argument where I showed you that this is the left key. So they are just doing uh, argument on the basis of account ID. And uh, There was some error that was caught up. I guess some required fields are missing from the join. Okay, let me get the account source value from here. Let's check our data wherein we are getting the account source values. That what all values we have so that I can show you up the data set. Okay, we will use the partner. We will get only data for the partner source. Let's save it and then, and then update the data flow. So if you just check over here, first it uh, fetched the data from the account and then it is running the data flow. Now this data flow is successfully run and we can go to our Einstein analytics 
then view all of this close this then we can go to all items data sets and data visualization data this was the data set we recently created created and now we can do the similar if we check all the data over here we can go to the tabular part values table and if we see the account source uh, was it not added to the final data set i guess it was not added to the final data data set let's check our data flow output fields account sources there save then account source is here and if we see over here we have all the data for the partner only now we can use this uh, to our uh, lens and we can create the chart for different types or we can change the chart chart as 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 our requirement as per our column chart or anything like that since we have only one uh, one uh, this one so let's try to change the bar again Uh, I guess we don't have the proper data over here and the initial data is not proper in this org. So, but yes, you can get the general idea how we can uh, cleanse, uh, do the data uh, cleaning over here. We have a lot more. Uh, these are, these were the just some limited uh, set of uh, transformations. We have a lot more over here, wherein uh, SFDC digest is their digest is for the uh, getting from the external data source. Edgemart is the getting the data from the current data source. We have already dis uh, discussed about up and end argument. Then this is compute expression. Compute relative is something that we use to compare the data for uh, different uh, so timelines. So when the data was last updated and when it was uh, created, all these things. And uh, these are uh, some advanced one flatten is to flat the hierarchy, then slice data set is the one of the important one, wherein if we want to uh, divide the data set complete imported data set into two different parts, then we can use this and we can register, we can register multiple data sets from a diff uh, single data flow also. So if I have, uh, I have already shown you this one. Uh, here also we are doing a SFDC register. And here also we are doing SFDC register. So th this uh, single data flow is creating two different data sets. Yep. Uh, so these were the some basic transformations uh, uh, through which we can use the data. In uh, summer 20, uh, since uh, we have no power to visualize the data over here, uh, in summer 20, uh, Einstein Analytics has uh, launched a, a data preparation, new data preparation tool in the beta version that is called as Einstein Data Preparation, where they have uh, calibrated the powers of the uh, recipes and uh, the data flows. So soon we will get to uh, see that too also in our system. So, and uh, I guess they, that will be replaced by these two, two uh, same kind of data flows and uh, data preparation tools and uh, that will be used majorly in future. Yep. Uh, Sagar, uh, we can take uh, if we have any questions for that. Hello. Yep. Hey, thanks, Ashank. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Shashank. Thanks for the lovely session. So, yeah. Guys, if you have any questions, you can please put it on the chat uh, and then we can answer them. Shashank, I have my own question. I've just pinged you. Can you share any specific scenario to choose recipe over data flow? Mm -hmm. And another scenario where you choose data flow versus recipe? Yeah, so uh, so using uh, whenever we need to do some minor changes or to merge two data sets without any some uh, major uh, th major uh, transformations doing major calculations. So uh, we have seen that we can do some compute expression kind of things, but uh, that is not possible in the case of recipes. But in the data flows, if we want to do some uh, data complex data filters, suppose uh, there was a there was a use case where when where, where I was working on that and is that uh, I was uh, uploading uh, I I need to get a data for exact last one year so that uh, that cannot I cannot do that for in the in uh, in the recipe to calculate the data from today's day to exact last one year date or to get the data for the uh, this year only, current year only, uh, till now, for, since January to November. So th for these kind of complex uh, data manipulations, data transformations, we should be using the data flow. But if our uh, just we are doing just uh, certain filters or transformation uh, transformation in the sense uh, append or um, uh, merging two data sets from different sources, generally. Uh, between the SFDC local and the uh, uh, data sets, not from the external data, then we should be using the data, uh, the recipes part. Okay, thanks Shashank. So um, Shashank, just another question. Um, you, you might redirect me to the next session, upcoming session, if this is not relevant to the current one. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know what are the different uh, uh, scenarios where uh, if snapshotting is required in the in the data set, what are the different uh, uh, scenarios or like features we can leverage in our uh, anal analytics? Yeah, for Is the sna for snapshotting, yes, we definitely have this compute relative. Then uh, uh, another was one was the uh, dilemma. Uh, this one, we can leverage these two transformations to get the uh, historical data. Uh, for snapshotting purpose. So there were, uh, we can, uh, for the stage movement kind of things or for the opportunity, if we want that, uh, whenever, when was the last stage move and uh, when uh, we want to know that from how much time the, uh, the things are being idle on a particular opportunity or set of opportunity, we can leverage these two transformations. Okay, so based on the incremental data, yeah, whatever yeah. coming from the bank, uh, yes, yeah. will automatically uh, Mm -hmm. uh, update the field is it yes okay that's that's great thanks so i'm i'm done i just had two questions if i will be having more i will be pinging you yep, thanks sure. Shashant. <laughs> thanks for the lovely session guys i think uh, no one has given any questions on the public chat but uh, you um, shank you can check private in the private chat as well yes <laughs> uh, i also don't have any received any questions uh well, uh, I think then the audience is clear. Guys, uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, after the session as well, please feel free to uh, reach out to Shashank directly on his LinkedIn and Twitter channel. He is quite active as well as you can reach out to us and we can write a redirect your question to him. And uh, also we have the episode three lineup on 22nd of this month. So uh, please do register, do subscribe to our uh, uh, our Trailblazer community group channel as well as our New Delhi channel so that you get the update about that as well. And uh, all your questions are welcome in that session as well. Shashank will be available as well as Abhinav will be available in the session three. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shashank. Thank you so much once again for a lovely session. Uh, it was very helpful. And I think we covered the major aspect of these analytics when it comes. Yeah, to the... because uh, since uh, these are just uh, into introduction part of the things, I, wa I was wanting to connect, uh, uh, deliver a much more content. But yes, uh, we cannot do in uh, basic sessions those things because uh, but yes, we can uh, we will be having more sessions on these this part, specifically the data part.
Agreed. Agreed. I think the time is the consent and yeah. Uh, yeah. the foundation has to be built first, then only we can go for the next stage. So I, I, I would request all of you guys to go over there and uh, check these transformations because uh, these transformations are uh, really very good. Uh, if we, any one of you have ever worked with any ETL tool, then you will find it very relevant. And uh, you can always leverage the Salesforce def, uh, de, uh, documentations for that matter. Thanks. Thanks, Shashan. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for your time. And uh, do take care of yourself. Yeah. See you. Uh -huh.